Thank you, Steve. I'm Dela Cruz. Our top story tonight, the CDC is now recommending COVID-19 vaccines for both children and adults. The new vaccination schedule now heads to the director of the CDC for approval. News 12 Connecticut's Sean McCabe with more on that decision and political fallout here in Connecticut. And the motion passed um, 15 unanimously in favor. The CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, or ACIP, voting 15 nothing today to add COVID-19 to the recommended vaccine schedule for both children and adults. Advocates say while COVID is lower risk for children, that doesn't mean it's no risk. In the U.S., thousands of children have been hospitalized and hundreds have died due to COVID-19. Vaccines can help prevent those tragic complications. ACIP members stressing the CDC doesn't have jurisdiction over vaccine mandates for schools or anywhere else. The decision around school entrance for vaccines rests where it did before, which is with the state level, the county level, and the, uh, at the municipal level, if it exists at all. Republican candidate for governor Bob Stefanowski coming out against vaccine mandates and challenging Governor Lamont to do the same. I've got the booster, I think you do as well. Uh, but we don't think it should be forced, forced on kids, forced on public employees, forced on it's up to the person. I'm not thinking about any new mandates. It's just too politicized right now. Governor Lamont pointing out today there's no state mandate around seasonal flu vaccine, which is also on the CDC schedule. Connecticut, we're more likely to voluntarily get the flu shot than just about any state. And I think that same type of good behavior and preventive thoughts will uh, transfer over to COVID. I think vaccinations are really important. Even among the vaccinated, opinions split on whether the shot should be a requirement for school kids. It affects them the least out of every, every population, so I don't know how I feel about um, having the government telling me to do anything. I, think I have the confidence that these things are researched and we've got now a couple of years of track record with them, so it wouldn't concern me at all. Sean McCabe, News 12, Connecticut.